been around Everywhere I go, my people down I don't need to frown Heavy is the head that wears the crown His son, the prophet of black. Now let's prove that we are the Israelites, not those people in the land, the Israelis. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 28 and prove to you that we are the true Jews of the Bible. 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the prophecy that Moses was telling the children of Israel that it will come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes mm -hmm. which I command thee this day. That what? That all these curses. All these what? Curses. All these curses. Shall come upon shall thee. Shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. So if we didn't follow God's commandments, the Israelites, certain curses would fall upon thee. Uh, get verse 48, then we're going to jump down. So these curses are going to help us identify who the Israelites are today. Because these things would only happen to the children of Israel. Verse 48. It's about a, a sign. I'm sorry. 46. Verse 46. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And the curses will be upon us for a sign. What is a sign used for? To identify something, right? If you're looking for, um, if you're looking for the school, you can look for the sign that says, this is the uh, Niger Grammar School, correct? Yeah. If you're looking for the bathroom for the boys, you're looking for a sign that says male, correct? Yeah. So these signs, these curses will identify the children of Israel today. Keep reading. And they shall be upon thee. They shall be upon us. For a sign. For a sign. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And upon us forever until we repent. Until Christ comes back. So now we'll go to verse 32. Let's see a curse that happened to the Israelites. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters. So it says, thy sons and thy daughters. Shall be given unto another people. Aha. Uh -huh. Shall be given unto another people. Whose children were sold and given to another people? And who, what happens? What about us? Us Nigeria. Your forefathers went ship to Brazil. Went ship to the Caribbean, to Jamaica, and Trinidad. Went ship to uh, the East. Didn't our, people, didn't our forefathers go on slave ships? Yes. Were we sold to our people or were we sold to another race of people? Another race, right? Read it again, read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. So thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, a different race of people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Their eyes will look and fail with longing for them because when the slave ships we're leaving the coast of Africa, when it was leaving the ports here in Port Harcourt, when it was leaving Fort uh, Badagre, we couldn't do anything to stop those slave ships. We had no power to stop the slave ships from taking our children overseas. And there shall be no might in thy hand. We had no might in our hand to stop the white man. Read. The fruit of thy no, land. No, no. Oh, yeah, we had no economic might, no political or military might to stop that. Now let's read another curse. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of thy land referring to our crops. Uh, our livestock, our minerals, our precious metals here in Nigeria that we produce naturally in the land. Because Nigeria, the land of Nigeria is a very rich continent, correct? Yes. But are our people here rich or are we poor? Yes. Let's read in the Bible. Why is that? Why, even though our land is very rich, why are we at the bottom? The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. So the fruit of our land here in Nigeria and all of our labors here shall a nation which thou knowest not. The same nation that took our children the eat, nation that we know is not. Eat up. Eat up. They're going to take all our resources. And thou shalt be only oppressed. And we should be only oppressed. And crushed always. And crushed always. Right now we have the Chinese. We have the white man. We have the British, the Americans, and the East Indians taking our what? They're taking our resources. Do we benefit from that? No. No. They take our resources and make us pay to import resources back in our country. Does that make sense? No, that is one of the curses that would fall upon the children of Israel. Did that happen to the white men? No. Did it happen to the Japanese? No. Did it happen to the Australians? No. Did it happen to the East Indians? No. Did it happen to the Israelis in the land right now? No. Who did it happen to? Oh, yeah. To yeah. us. To us. 
Jump to verse 48. Verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So because of our sin, because of our sins, the Bible says what? Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. It says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So, they're the enemies of God as well too. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And the Lord sent them against us because we didn't want to listen to him. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness because anything we want or need here in Nigeria, we have to go to our oppressors. They control the imports and exports. They control our crops. They control the factory conditions. They control the low payment that we're getting. They control the textile factories. In our land, we don't have control of our own resources. This is our punishment, our spiritual butt whipping for breaking God's commandments. And in want of all things. And in one of all things, we got to go to them. Now. Jump to 68. Six. Yeah, keep reading, keep reading. And he, and he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. Do we have yoke of iron in that book? Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So he, that nation, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What race of people had iron chains around their neck? Black people. They happen to know the nation on earth. These curses are talking about us, the Israelites. We got yokes of iron put in our neck. Read that again, yoke of iron. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until? Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed us mentally, till we think we're African Americans, till we think we're Nigerians. Even that name came about from a white woman. Even though we think we're Africans. They destroyed us and made us lose our nationality. Get Psalms, uh, no, let's get uh, 68. No, actually, no, get Psalms 83. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how we lost our sense of nationality. I'll get Jeremiah 17 and then we'll get that. It was a prophecy that we would lose our culture and lose who we are today. Yeah, we're getting Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Mm -hmm. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So that didn't happen to Jeremiah at that time. This was a future prophecy that would happen to him in the future and the rest of the nation of Israel. That we would discontinue, meaning we would lose our heritage. And we've lost our heritage, clearly. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. And he will cause us to serve our enemies. In a land which thou knowest not. In a land which thou knowest not. That's talking about us getting shipped to different parts of the world. Get Deuteronomy 4 and 27, real quick. Deuteronomy 4, I know, three Psalms, we'll come back, we'll get both. Psalm Psalms 83 is going to show how we lost our heritage. Psalms 83 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. For lo, thy enemies have, have make, make a tumult. So thy enemies have made a noiseless gathering. And they that hate thee. And they that hate us. Have lifted up the head. They think they're big and bad now because we're in the bottom. We used to be on top during King Solomon's reign. But because of our sin, we've gotten lower and lower and lower and lower. And now anywhere in the earth... We're the worst people. We're evil. Uh, uh, we stink. Uh, uh, we have no culture. That's what they say about us, right? We've been, we've been treated as the scum of the earth, but we really are the top chosen people of God. But we got to act like it. we got to follow these commandments for Christ to come back and set us back in order. But we have to start the process of repentance. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people uh -huh. and have consulted against thy hidden ones. We are the hidden ones because they hide that we are the true Jews. They hid from us the image of Christ. They hid from us that Adam was a black man, that Solomon was a black man, that Moses was black. Those things are hidden from us. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So these nations said, come, let us cut them off, discontinue them from being what? A nation. From us being the nation of Israel. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That us remembering that we the Israelites, we forget it. That's why in slavery, they banned us from reading the Bible, because we always knew our history. We always knew we came from the 12 tribes. That's why the term Ebo comes from Hebrew. That's why the term Yerba comes from King Jeroboam. That's why Abia State comes from King Abijah, because we always knew that we were the children of Israel. We brought some of those customs down, and we forgot some of it. That's what we're trying to bring back to remembrance. No, keep, keep reading 80, 83. Let's see some of those enemies. For they have consulted together with one consent. So all the other nations who enslaved us, they came together with one consent, with they, one mind. They are confederates against thee. They all wanted to come against us. The tabernacles of Edom. The Edomites are the so-called white man. 
The white man from today comes from Edom. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs, the Arabs that put us in slavery, that forced Islam and Muslim stuff on us. And of Moab. Moab is the Chinese. And the Hagarins. Those are the original Hamitic Africans. Because when we came from Israel, we all come from a Shemitic race. And when we came, there were people here in the land already. The Bull and Ammon and Amalek. So those are other, and who? Amalek. Amalek is the so-called Jewish man, the Israelis. So now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, and let's read one more curse, 2868. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. <laughs> and the Lord said he will bring us into Egypt again. With ships. With ships. So now, when we left Egypt, did we walk out of Egypt or do we took a boat out of Egypt? Huh? We took a boat? No, we walked through the Red Sea when, when Moses parted it. Let's read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So, the land of Egypt in 2068 is referring to Egypt meaning bondage. Because the ancient word for Egypt was Mizraim, which means to constrict or withhold. Egypt was always known to enslave other nations, and as a whole, they were a power. So in 2068, Deuteronomy, when it said the land of Egypt, it's referring to bondage and slavery. We're going to prove that. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. That's it. So now let's read 2068 again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt so again. The, so the Lord will bring us into slavery, into bondage again. With ships. But this time, instead of walking into Egypt, we would take ships into Egypt. And that's referring to America, which is spiritually Egypt, Babylon, and Sodom. Because America, y'all see a lot of evil stuff about it, right? They say you can be gay. They say man can marry men. They, uh, crime, crime isn't be punished. America is modern day Babylon today. It is modern day Egypt and Sodom at the same time spiritually. It's not physical Babylon or Egypt or Sodom, but spiritually it has all the evil and wicked sin of all those three nations. That's why America is going to be destroyed. Read. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with so, ships. So we would go into slavery again on ships. By the way wherever I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We wouldn't see those same Egyptians again, because like we talked about earlier, those people in the land right now aren't the original Egyptians, right? Because they were taken down because they enslaved us. They were made a base kingdom. And there, and there, in those lands, in Egypt, in America, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Bible says we will be sold unto our enemies. What race of people were sold, were taken on ships, and sold to their enemies? Black people. Did that happen to any other nation? No, it only happened to us, and those were cursed. That would happen to the Israelites. We are the true Jews, not those takers up there. There you shall be sold unto your enemies, uh -huh. for bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women, and no man shall buy you, and no man shall redeem or save us. We've had many leaders like Patrice Lumumba and many African leaders who have tried to raise us up and save us, but they couldn't do it. You know, some good things came of that, but only one man could truly save us, which is who? Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 